Hey, what's going on guys? It's Two Step Productions back with another video. And today I have a review of a uh, piece of recording software that I use in almost all of my videos nowadays. Uh, except for this one, of course, where I'm using a different recording software to record this. Uh, but anyways, it's called Action, as you can see up here. And it's by a company called Marillis. And it costs uh, $50 for the professional license, which allows you to monetize the videos you make, or $30 for personal use. Uh, but they don't exactly, from what I've heard, check uh, what your license is. So you could probably get the $30 one and make videos for YouTube. I have the $50 license uh, just because I don't want to risk getting in trouble. But anyways, um, what we have here is the uh, main interface for recording. You have videos that you've recorded. But anyways, uh, you can watch them in a preview video or a preview window. And that's a video that I just recorded and I should have up uh, around the same time as this one. Uh, but you have um, three different types of recording. Um, you have game recording games and applications using DirectX or OpenGL. Uh, you have active screen recording, which would be this desktop that you're seeing here. Or you can uh, record a specific region, and it's telling me it's uh, not available because of uh, what I'm recording right now. But uh, anyways, you can adjust the area that you're, rec you're recording. So this is useful if you want to record, say, videos from YouTube uh, without making your screen full screen so you could just uh, set it to be the perfect size of the YouTube viewer window and then uh, go ahead and record it and um, you can choose a couple of different file types uh, only two at the moment there's AVI and MP4 AVI allows you to record 1080p 720p all the way down to 240p and then MP4 only goes up to 720p just because of the way MP4 compresses, but um, if you only want to record in 720p, then MP4 is very useful because the 720p file from MP4 is uh, smaller than the AVI file. But since I record in 1080p, I always use AVI. Uh, you have several different options. You can record system sounds, which I always do because uh, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear. Uh, the games that I record, such as Minecraft or um, Stonehearth, and uh, you can have multi-channel audio recording. I don't use that because I edit all the audio together. And you can choose whether to not record your microphone, always record, or record on button down. And so that would be like press V and you can hear the microphone, but then when you're not pressing V, you can't hear the microphone or whatever button you set it to. Uh, I leave it on always record. Um, and so that's pretty much, oh, uh, one last thing, actually, before I move on, uh, perfect video match mode, uh, if I click the question mark here and bring this over, uh, perfect video match mode, uh, is used when you're recording something like, uh, videos from YouTube so that it matches the frame rate that you're getting so you don't get stuttering in the video that you record but I don't use that because I'm not recording other videos, I'm recording uh, me playing games and it even says uh, in that page don't use unless you're doing uh, or don't use unless you're recording other videos um, but anyways moving on you can uh, live stream using this unfortunately you do have to pay and as you can see I have zero days left on my uh, subscription so this doesn't matter, you guys can all try to use that, it's not going to help you in any way. But uh, you have some settings here for live streaming. Uh, you can uh, enable it, first of all, which I have it disabled because I don't ever plan on li live streaming. And I can't even enable it at this point. Uh, you can also choose to record the video that you're live streaming as well. You can set to auto reconnect if you get disconnected due to um, troubles with your internet or your computer. You can choose um, 
what quality to stream at, uh, up to 720p for my computer, but 1080 for better internet connections and better computers. Uh, you can choose frame rate, uh, bit rate, and you can enter a custom URL. Uh, so say you were streaming to Twitch TV, you could uh, choose the servers. Uh, so since I'm in the US, I would choose US. And then you can uh, enter your specific stream key. And it even shows up with a Twitch logo there, which is kind of nice. YouTube, YouTube logo. And um, I guess that's the server for YouTube. Uh, Ustream. So you have a bunch of different ones. And then custom is what uh, you enter the URL of the custom website that you're streaming to. But anyways, um, I don't really use this much because I don't live stream, but some of you guys may find this useful. Uh, you can record audio into uh, WAV or MP4 uh, formats. You can set specific durations of uh, recording. You can do multi-channel, uh, record silence, or if you have this unchecked, it'll only record when there's noise being made, so you could stop talking for a minute and it wouldn't record any of that. And again, choose uh, whether you want to record your microphone or not. Uh, you can benchmark. So if you're playing a game and you press the hotkey, which mine is F11, you can benchmark your game. It, see, it shows up, uh, or it shows my system specs here. Um, doesn't show graphics card, but Either way, uh, you can see what my system has there. Uh, you can take screenshots. I've taken some for past videos that I've done. Uh, and then th the settings. So this is the most important tab. Obviously, uh, you want to make sure everything's set up well for your recording. Uh, but you can hide the application when uh, you start recording. You can keep it always on top of uh, what you're doing. So if you have pages open on a second monitor, like I have two monitors, so if I have it on my second monitor and I have other stuff open, it'll always be on top. Uh, you can choose language from a bunch of different ones. Uh, there's a remote control app for phones and uh, Android and iOS. And you could start recording from your phone and it would start recording on your desktop. Uh, so I'm not going to go ahead and have that enabled, but anyways, um, video settings, you can choose your quality from low, normal, and high, bitrate, uh, only for mp4 videos though, again that's related to compression of the video, input range, I leave that alone, use multi-core recording, since uh, action is mainly based on your CPU, uh, if you have a multi-core processor, which I have a quad core, as you can see here. Um, actually, it doesn't tell you that, but the 4770K is quad core. Uh, so that'll help speed up your recording and make it a higher quality. Uh, you can choose a bunch of different things here. You can put overlay graphics uh, and have them in the video. So, say I had a bar up here saying like my Twitter, my YouTube, um, all that stuff. It, uh, that's where you choose it. You can browse your files to f find that. And uh, next is webcam settings. So you can add up to two webcams, um, webcam one and two, and choose the positions for them. I don't have any hooked up, so I uh, don't usually mess around with that. Uh, audio settings, you can uh, choose what device your audio uh, records from so I just have system default for both but uh, you can see I use the uh, blue snowball here but that is my system default so I just leave that alone and uh, for audio I could either choose speakers or system default but I leave it as that and you can balance so as you can see my microphone is set much higher than my um, game sounds because Otherwise, it would be hard to hear me sometimes. Uh, and then you can choose the bitrate if you're recording only audio, but I leave it on system default. Uh, so then your HUD, or 
heads up display or HUD, uh, which is this thing that shows up in the top right corner here uh, on the screen. You can uh, move that to different spots. So if I restart the program, which um, I'm not going to do right now, but it'll show up in a different spot. I have it in the top left because that's just where it's most convenient for me. Uh, export settings. I generally leave this what the default is, uh, but you do want to make sure you check use hardware acceleration. So since I have an NVIDIA graphics card, that helps me with the exporting of video. And um, last is setting up all your hotkeys. So I have my numpad uh, plus key for starting and stopping uh, video recording. I have, um, let's see, what else did I change? Uh, show and hide heads up display, I changed, and uh, pause and resume video, I changed to the star key on my number pad just to make it more convenient. But uh, most of these things I've left alone, but that's what shows up. So let's see, benchmarking F11. So as you can see, it shows you the key. For recording, it says num plus, because that's what I changed it to. But it's a very versatile system. Um, and as you can see, there are so many different options to choose from. Um, I will leave a link in the description to a free video recording uh, software which I'm using right now to record and it's 100% free but this uh, what you're getting for when you pay is higher quality uh, more stable support uh, more versatility you can uh, it's very user friendly all you have to do is press the button change a few things and then you're all set up to record and you get the preview you get better quality for exporting and generally just more ease of use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to dislike it. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always guys, have a good day.